In this video, I will show you how to set up your Samsung Smart TV with the Tizen operating system step by step. So if you newly got your Samsung Smart TV, then you want to go ahead and follow the steps in this particular video to get your Smart TV up and running. Now from the initial screen over here, you can literally see that we have two options to set up the Samsung Smart TV and one is to basically go ahead and download the Samsung SmartThings app and then use it to set up the TV. An alternative method is to basically use our remote control. Now for the purpose of this video, we are going to be using the remote control method. So go ahead and make sure that your batteries are properly placed. And so from your remote control, you want to go ahead and navigate to the right hand side using these navigation buttons over here, just like so. Now first things first, you want to use the navigation buttons over here to select your country. In my case, I will just scroll down and then select Nigeria because this is basically my country. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and connect all of your HDMI cables and antenna or just any cable that you actually want to connect to your Samsung Smart TV. But if you do not have any HDMI cable or any antenna that you actually want to connect to your Samsung Smart TV now, then you can just go ahead and click on the next button you probably will not face any issue doing that so just scroll down and click on next now go ahead and click on ok and now you want to go ahead and connect your samsung smart tv to the wi-fi make sure that your wi-fi is turned on and available and automatically your samsung smart tv should be able to find the wi-fi network over here in my case i'll be connecting to redmi 12 which i am basically using as my wi-fi in this particular video so i'll go ahead and select redmi 12 and then from the input field over here you want to go ahead and enter your password so use the navigation button again and then enter your password and after entering the password of your Wi-Fi, you want to scroll over to the done button over here. So scroll over to the right hand side and then just go ahead and click on done. And now your Samsung Smart TV should automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. And for the second step, you want to go ahead and accept the Samsung Smart TV terms and condition. So scroll over to I agree all. You can also go ahead and read the terms and condition if you actually want to. But then I've read them. So I'll just scroll down and then click on I agree to all. And then go ahead and click on OK. Just like so. Now for the third step, you want to go ahead and sign into your Samsung account. Or if you do not have an account, you want to go ahead and create one by clicking on the create account. Currently, I do not have an account. So I'll go ahead and click on create account just like so. And to continue with the account creation process, you want to come over to your phone. Go ahead and open up the camera app on your phone to scan the QR code over here on your Samsung Smart TV. So I will just go ahead and open up the camera app. Now, it is important to note that not all phone is actually capable of scanning QR code. So if your phone cannot scan QR code with the camera app, you can go ahead and use the Google Lens app or just download any QR code scanner from the Google Play Store or App Store of your phone. So you can go ahead and use the Google Lens app, which is basically this camera app over here and then just click on this camera and the google lens app should be able to scan this qr code so go ahead and click on the link on your screen and now you want to go ahead and click on sign in now come over here and then click on create account and then you just want to go ahead and agree to all of the terms and conditions over here and then click on agree now go ahead and enter your email so i'll go ahead and enter mine enter your password as well and then go ahead and enter your first name and last name now you want to go over to your email because a notification will be sent to your registered email so just go ahead and check that notification so i'll go ahead and open up my gmail now and from my gmail over here you can literally see the notification from samsung so i'll just scroll down and then copy this code over here and then go ahead and enter it in this particular mp feed over here and then click on next and now my samsung account has actually been created so i'll go ahead and click on done and once you're done, you're going to see that the account creation process has also been completed on your Samsung Smart TV. Now, the next thing you want to do is to just scroll down and click on next. And for this next step, you just want to go ahead and click on register. And then click on next. And then click on backup data and then scroll down and then click on next. Now you want to go ahead and select the source of your TV channels. Now this can actually be your antenna which you can plug on the antenna port on your TV or you can just go ahead and select a HDMI port which can actually be a TV stick, your PlayStation or just any device. So in my case, I'll just go ahead and select I don't receive a broadcast signal over here. Now this is basically the summary of all of our setup process. So you just want to go ahead and click on next. Now you can go ahead and skip this link into apps page because you can actually do this later so i'll just scroll down and click on skip 
and now your tv is ready to use so you want to go ahead and click on done and just like so we've been able to set up our samsung smart tv for the first time now this is basically how the ui of the samsung smart tv with the tizen operating system actually looks like and obviously there is not so much going on on the screen but there are actually a lot of things you can do from the screen so for instance, if you navigate through all of the apps over here, you're going to get to this app section and from here you should be able to download and install more apps from the Samsung App Store into your Samsung Smart TV. Also, once you're able to sign into apps like the Netflix, the Prime Video and the YouTube app, you should be able to start seeing recommendations and just advertisements on your Samsung Smart TV screen, you know, just as it is in other Smart TVs as well. Basically, that is how to set up your Samsung Smart TV for the first time, step by step. If if you find this video useful please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one